all know Microsoft Azure. So in this series, we are going to look at many features, tool sets, workings and demonstration of various services offered by Azure. So the first video starts with helping genius minds who didn't have an Azure account to get started. So in this video, we are going to look at how to get a 12 months free tier plan with Microsoft Azure. Very first step is to open the website azure.microsoft.com. So let's go to the website. And here you can see their offerings on various services. Click on the try Azure for free button, the green button over here. Now Microsoft will ask you to authenticate so you can log in with any of your Microsoft account. So create one if you do not have a Microsoft account. Now here I'm using uh, my username to I looked at outlook.com. Click on next. And here you can send, click for send notification as I am using a two-factor authentication. Since I'm using a two-factor authentication, I need to approve the request from my mobile. So just continue. Click yes. Alright, so the next step is to provide our profile details. So when we log in with Microsoft account, most of the fields will be pre-filled. Let's add the mobile number and make sure the SIM is active to receive either text messages or calls. So let, let me add the text message and once I did, I am adding the organization. And since I am going with the SMS based verification, I am going to click on text me. So this I will give, I will get a text message on my mobile number and I am typing the text message over here. And let's click on verify code. So once we click on the verify code, it will ask to uh, agree on few contracts. So let's check on the first checkbox and just click on the next. Alright, now it will check for any payment methods do we have. Azure has basically two types of subscriptions. One is free subscription and the another one is pay as you go subscriptions. When we create a new account, our account will be always in a free subscription plan. That means your card won't be charged automatically. You need to explicitly change your subscription plan from free to pay as you go in order for auto charge to work. So this will also protect us from unwillingly paying to the Azure services. Now let's click on the sign up button and this will move us to the payment section and Azure will charge a 2 rupees in order to check the validity of our credit card to check whether it is a fake credit card or something else. So our bank will send the OTP, just type in the OTP and click on submit. When your payment is successful, you can see your selected card over here. Now click on sign up. And here in this page, you can click on go to Azure portal. So this will move us to the Azure portal. And this is the Azure portal. As you can see, you can have a lot of options over here. And our primary focus is actually not to go to the sidebar menu. And here you can select for the old services to see all the services offered by Azure. Now here just click on all services. And these are all the list of services that Azure provides. Along with that, we have a search bar over here. And we can search for any services that we want to find from the Azure portal. Alright, let's jump back to the home page and click on the notifications. And here we can see 14,500 credit is remaining on our account. That means after the free tire, we can use these 14,500 for any services that gone out of our quota. Now let's go to the subscriptions. And here we can see that my roles and current cost is loading over here. And once it's loaded, let's go to our free tile subscription plan. Now we can see all the details of the billing over here and this is the dashboard that shows all the information about our current subscription plan. So right now our subscription plan is free and that's why we can and we have not yet used any resources so that's why the panel is empty. And as I mentioned we have 14,500 rupees or uh, any currency that based on your country exists within a limited time of period and here you can see that the free credit expires in 29 days that means if you want to use that 
use within a month. And if you're a resident of India, then some kind of automatic recurring payments will be blocked by the Reserve Bank of India. In that case, Azure can't automatically charge for the cost. Then you need to manually settle the payment. More Azure videos are coming soon. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much.